victory this evening. Uh, a big one. I mean, finally, you know, getting the big win at 145 and also kind of show some new wrinkles in your game. Uh, I just kind of wonder, how personally satisfying is this victory for you? Well, there's a lot of things that are satisfying with the victory, but there's also things I want to do better and do more. It doesn't matter if it's a win or a loss. I always think, man, I could have done this too, or maybe I should have tried this. Um, you know, I want to learn from every experience, whether it's a win or a loss. I want to just be learning from wins from now until forever because I don't want to, <laughs> I hate to lose. Uh, so it feels good to be here and just, you know, there's a lot of stuff we've been working on in practice for a long time. It's just it finally kind of, you know, was something that I was able to use to fight. You talked about your preparation coming in that you, you didn't really study her so much, you studied yourself and, and trying to correct your flaws. Um, did that play out tonight? I mean, did those things that you wanted to correct, did, did, did that play into your victory? A couple of things. Um, couple things come up with it, but because it was such a different game as well, you know, this wasn't really anything that, you know, obviously the takedowns and the ground stuff wasn't anything that I really had in other fights, so that didn't really pertain to a lot of it, but, um, you know, a little bit of it was. Uh, there's a little bit of improvements I made that I'm happy for in the fight, and then there's stuff that I still thought, like, oh. you know, I always want perfection. She landed a couple of big shots early on, and, and I wanted to ask her, I mean, you've been in there with some of the hardest hitters in the game, but there was so much made of her power and her size. Uh, you're the first one in the UFC to, to, to experience it, so I wonder, was it different? I mean, was it stronger? Was it more than you expected? You know, she um, she hit pretty hard. It's not been the hardest I've ever been hit, but she was very strong, very powerful. Uh, she's a big she's a big person. She towers over me, you know? She's a big fighter. And all week, I, I, I like to see her, look at her, and just, you know, I, I like to see my opponent. I don't want to get in there the night I'm going to fight him and then look across. Because they always look bigger than life anyway when you're about to fight him. So, um, you know, she's a big girl, but that didn't mean that she wasn't beatable. And I just really wanted to make sure that I was staying level-headed and just, you know, I just believe in my training. I know I put a lot of hard work into it, and I knew I would react in the way that I should if I just really believed in my training. And last week for me, uh, you know, Amanda Nunes took to social media and said, let's do this. Uh, Cyborg actually chimed in and said, hey, yeah, that's a fight I'd love to see happen. So, I mean, you've got a lot of options on the table, but, I mean, does a, does a championship fight at 135 sound about right? You know, I think anything you lose, you want back, right? That's something that's dear to you. I think that's, that, that's probably the closest to my heart, but I want it all. Uh, I don't think that you even get into this game if you don't want it all. I want it all. I want it victories and walked off and won all of it and it's just one step at a time, one fight at a time and really the only thing on my plate right now was tonight. And I'm going to enjoy that. I've got a lot of friends and family here that I can enjoy this with in Chicago. Chicago's, you know, a place that I've been to a lot. My wrestling coach is from here so I feel like this is a, you know, like a home away from home. So I'm really just going to kind of take it in and uh, sometimes I'll, I think I'll give myself enough time to just enjoy my life a little bit. Coach, is it safe to say you might be keeping Israel around now with, with how well your wrestling looked tonight? And has that been your secret weapon in this camp? You know, I've been working with Izzy for actually quite some time, and he's been uh, really helpful in a lot of things, even though maybe my fight hasn't gone to where I'm taking them down. But there, there's 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 a lot of things that this is. So starting with, with Mike Winklejohn when I was 16, I've, a lot of people search and search for a good stand-up you know, coach, and I've been with him the whole time. I've never changed camps. And when I started to get into MMA, you know, Greg Jackson was such a big part of that. And uh, I mean, he even actually coached me as my coach in a lot of my boxing matches because he's part of our team, you know. And then um, Izzy started coming down to the gym and uh, started working just on my strict wrestling with him. So I've actually worked with him for a while. So uh, and then, you know, just. Uh, actually, in 2015, I started working with uh, Tusa and Barata with Ground Game, and those are my main, you know, um, teams. I'm surrounded by great coaches, the best in the world, and I really don't have any intention of changing. I'm usually loyal to my coaches. I don't just let anybody in because I definitely want them to be good coaches. Um, and so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very blessed and I'm very proud of my coaches and very thankful for everything they've helped me with. Thank you. Holly, congratulations on your win. Um, you said you want to celebrate the victory, and here I am asking the question anyways, but I mean, how do you feel you match up with Amanda Nunes if that is your next fight? With? Amanda Nunes. 
You know, every fighter can be beat, and that's how I feel. She's very tough, and she's proven that. You know, she's ran through some girls. Um, she was very dominant in her last performance with a very game, you know, Raquel's a very game fighter. She's usually a little scrapper. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely a tough fight, but what am I here for? You know, I don't want to, I don't want to take the easy route and then at the end of my career think I wish I would have pushed myself a little more. So, we'll see what happens in the future. We'll, we'll go from here. You've obviously accomplished a lot in your career, uh, but in some ways you're always going to be attached to your first title win in, in the UFC against Ronda Rousey. I'm sure you heard tonight she's going into the Hall of Fame. I just wanted to get your opinion on Ronda going into the Hall of Fame this year. I think that's great. Uh, she did a lot for the sport. She's done a lot for the UFC. She's done a lot for, you know, bringing the women uh, into kind of the, the – women have been around with mixed martial arts for a long time, but she kind of helped open some of those doors for a lot of us. With that being said, one person can't do it. In order to have a fight, you have to have two people. So she did a lot and, and you know, kind of being an inspiration for a lot of other girls coming in. You have to have two to make a fight. So a lot of these girls kind of chasing that dream with her. And she stood her ground for a long time, was a very dominant champion. And so um, I'm happy for her. So Chris, and she said she saw a lot of skills that you didn't showcase when you fought her. Uh, she didn't really elaborate. I'm just wondering what you think she meant by the skills that you didn't show. Uh, I feel like I would have maybe a little idea of things that I did different because I know what I did different. But um, I, I, I think I would be even a different fighter the next time I got in there because I'm, I'm constantly wanting to get better and you know, I'm trying to work on everything in my game. Ali, it was a great crowd tonight in, in the post-fight uh, <coughs> talk with Joe. What do they prefer, the early weigh-ins or the afternoon weigh-ins? Since it's somewhat of a hot topic this week, and I just wanted to get your vote. Oh, weigh-ins. Yes. I thought you said weigh-ins. I was like, oh, I like it many times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a fan of early weigh-ins uh, because I've always kind of cut most of my weight at night. But um, if, if there's this big debate of changing, I don't know, maybe for me, I feel like let's just I like early weigh-ins, but if they're going to change it, why do we got to go all the way to the afternoon either? I mean, cause maybe like it's 11 or 12 or, you know, because it gives a little more time. Um, because, you know, it's, it's 9 to 11 usually. There's two hours in there. Well, if they start them at 11 and people want to weigh in early and they're on weight, let them weigh in early. They've done their work. They've already cut their weight, maybe 11 to 1 or, you know, but I don't really think that it's, it makes that much sense to do this so late in the day because that's less time for recovery. And what we're really trying to do is be ready for the fight. So I think we should cater more to the fight than the actual way in time, I guess. That makes more sense to me. But, um, I mean, I don't know why it has to be either 9 a.m. or, like, 5 p.m. We could probably, if, if they really want to change it, I don't know. I like it in the morning, but if we're going to change it, I don't know why it has to be afternoon. It's probably maybe something different in the middle. Thank you.